Hello and welcome back to our video class at CSEC Math Tutor. And in our lesson today, we are going to be focusing on how to calculate the area of a parallelogram and a trapezium. Most of the work will be concentrated on the trapezium because it is more likely to pop up on your CXC exam than your parallelogram in terms of area. And it, it has more applications in, in area as well. So we are going to be focusing on the trapezium and the parallelogram. Um, quickly, we're going to look at the area of a parallelogram. And here we have a simple proof of why the area of a parallelogram can simply be calculated as multiplying the base times the perpendicular height. So in this diagram here, we have the base and we have the perpendicular height. And we have this section of the triangle here that is cut off and also this section now if you notice that these two triangles are similar being a parallelogram that is the case where we have two sides two two pairs of um sides that are parallel so this side is parallel and equal to this one also this side is parallel and equal to this one and so we could um simply cut off a triangle here and then take that triangle and fit it onto this triangle here and actually just make one bigger rectangle and hence justifying the formula base times height. So um, not that CXC will ask you to prove it, but here's a simple proof. So the idea is to find the area of this small triangle, both of them, this one and this one. So it's two times the area of that one. Here the, the base is X and the height is H. And to add that to the area of the rectangle, which is here times the h. And once we multiply all that formula and add it up, then we end up with base times height as the formula. Remember, h here is just the, the perpendicular height and not a slant height. And so it's very, very simple to find the area of a parallelogram in that all that we do is multiply the area of the, the length of the base times the perpendicular height. And here our perpendicular height is three. So it's a very simple calculation area would be equal to 3 times 4, which would give us, in this case, 12 meters square. So if you have the perpendicular height and you have your base, then you can go ahead and multiply the base times the perpendicular height, and that gives you the area of your trapezium, sorry, of your parallelogram. <laughs> now let's go to the trapezium. And before we... Um, Going to calculate and stuff, I want to take a look at what the, the formula is for finding the area of a trapezium. And here, let's call this side A and this side B, and this side is H, the height, or the vertical, vertical um, height, perpendicular height. So we could actually cut off a triangle here and find the area of this rectangle and the area of the triangle and add them together. Um, in a trapezium, remember that you have one pair of sides that is parallel. So here, we could actually take the area of the, of the rectangle, which is A times H, and add it to the area of the triangle. Now, the height, area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And the length of this um, base of the triangle here, notice this section is A and this is all of this is B. So we could take that as B, take away A. So it's half of the base times the height. So it's half the height times the base here. And if we simply factor over the h here, then we have a plus a half into b minus a. And then writing this as a single fraction, 2a, 2 times a gives us 2a plus uh, b minus a over 2 with the h outside. Uh -huh. And then once we do that, we realize that 2a take away a here gives us an a. So this um, bracket works out to a plus b. So we have a formula, h bracket a plus b over 2. And that is the formula we use to calculate the area of a trapezium, where the h is the vertical height or the perpendicular height here and A and B are the parallel sides. So we have the two parallel sides, A and B. And once we use that formula, 
we can calculate the area of a trapezium. Now let's look at a question from CXE. Let's make this a little bigger. So here we have a diagram where we have a trapezium. This is a part of a question and not the whole question. So we have a trapezium PQRS and we have the measurements. We have the parallel sides. Notice the parallel sides are 12 and 6. And the vertical side would be 15. So the formula being area is half the height times the sum of the parallel sides. We'd end up with half. This number being h, 15. And the parallel sides are 12 and 6. So we have 12 plus 6. And so this is... 15 times 18 over 2. And we can simply divide this out and get 9 times 15. And 9 times 15, that's 90. And 45, which gives us 135 centimeters square. And so we could use the, apply the formula here and find the area of our trapezium and that is exactly how we find the area of a trapezium by using the formula half h bracket a plus b where a and b are the parallel sides so again notice the parallel sides are here and here so this side and this side these are the parallel sides and then the the vertical side would be here which acts as the height all right so that's how we do it um, let's look at some areas where we are likely to see the trapezium being applied as in we were likely to see the the area of a trapezium being used on our cxc paper this is from a paper too so you will likely to see it there also when you're doing speed time graphs you are likely to see the area of a trapezium being used in a in a speed time graph the area under the curve is the um distance traveled so notice that we have meters per second, which tells us, that, tells us that this is speed on the y-axis and time here. So notice the shape that we actually have a trapezium. It says, using the graph, calculate the distance traveled by the cyclist between the period t equal 15 and t equal 35. So I'm just going to draw that down. Between t equal 15 and t equal 35. So there we go we actually have a trapezium right there. And so what we're going to do is to use that formula to find the area of this, um, this, this shape right here. So these are our parallel sides. So remember the formula says area is half the height, the vertical height times the sum of the parallel sides. And so this, the side that will act as the height, not really a height, but look at it here. It's um, from 15 to 35, and there we see 35 take away 15 gives us 20. So it's half times 20 times the sum of the parallel sides. And the sum of the parallel sides, this is one parallel side, that's another one. This one is 40, plus this one is 50. And so we have half of 20 being 10 times 40 plus 50 is 90 and here 10 times 90 would be 900 and so because our um, speed is given in meters per second then we know that we're dealing with meters so this 900 is going to be meters so this is one way one area where you're likely to see the area of a trapezium being um, applied outside of measurement to find the distance traveled in a speed time graph all right, and that's, that distance is equal to, that area is equal to the distance traveled. Now, on the multiple choice paper, you're also likely to see these kind of questions. So here we have a diagram. This is also a trapezium. We have a slant height, and we have the two parallel sides. Notice this is one parallel side, that is the other one. And so you can apply your formula. Area is half the height into the sum of the parallel sides a plus b so we have half 
This is the, vert the vertical height. Notice they gave you a slant height to throw you off if you're not, if you're not um, aware of it. So it's half times five, and the parallel sides are 18 and eight. 18 plus eight, so 18 plus eight is 26. So we end up with 26 times five over two, which gives us um, half of 20, 26 is 13. So we have 13 times five, and that would give us 65 centimeters square. So the answer there would be B. And in this diagram here, it's simply asking us to decide which of these diagrams would have this calculation. So which of the figures below has an area equal to a half bracket three plus four times five. So five is the vertical height. So we need a diagram that has a vertical height of five. This one has it. It should also have parallel sides of three and four. And this one has three and four. So the correct diagram that would have this calculation is diagram C. And so this is how you are likely to see the area of a parallelogram and the area of a trapezium um, being used on your CXE paper. And that is how you go about calculating the area of a, of a parallelogram and the area of a trapezium. That's it, that's it for now. Until next time, keep working hard and keep preparing for those exams.